Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code regarding calculate salaries and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium. Okay, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called salaries with four different columns, company ID, employee ID, employee name and salary and these are the data types. The combined company ID and employee ID column is the primary key for this table. This table contains the company ID, ID, name and salary of an employee. We are asked to write a SQL query to find the salaries of the employees after applying taxes and round the salary to the nearest integer. The tax rate is calculated in the following way. If the maximum salary of any employee in the company is less than $1,000, then 0% between $1,000 and $10,000, including both these numbers, then 24% tax. And if uh, greater than $10,000, then 49% tax. Remember, the tax rate is calculated for each company, not each individual, right? The order of the result does not matter. Okay, so let's go, let's go through this example. So here we are given input. For example, for company ID 1, right? So company ID 1, maximum salary is 21,300, right? Which is greater than 10,000. So greater than 10,000 means 49% taxes so the uh, after deducting the taxes all these three will be getting only 0.51 times their salary right because the 0.49 times is going in the taxes right so this is what the output is going to be similarly for two three like it would be in different tax labs so basically for two it is less than thousand right maximum salary is less than thousand so for pam basin and Hermione, it would be same right so this is how we need to do so basically what do we need to do for each of the company id we need to calculate the maximum salary and based on certain condition that if maximum sal salary satisfied one condition return like x amount of salary if it satisfied another condition return y amount of salary and things like that so again a classic case of using window functions and case when statements right so let's first add a fifth column here, which tells us what is the maximum salary for each of the company ID, right? So from this table called salaries, let's return every column because like let's return everything and then create a fifth column based on window functions, right? So since we are writing a window function, we are, we need to write over class. So over and then partition by company id not employee id why because for different companies we need to uh, calculate the tax rates right so this this information is company based not employee based so once you create the partition right then what do you need to do is take the maximum value from the salary column and let's alias this thing as max salary right okay and then let's store it in a common table expression right and then put this in parenthesis so basically what this is going to do is this is going to add a fifth column here called max salary and for each of the company id so for company id one maximum salary is 21 3000 21300 so 21300 21300 10800 for this 700 700 700 like right? and similarly now once we have this then using this common table expressions what we can do is so we need to return company id employee id employee name and salary but salary after deducting the taxes right so let's return company id then employee id employee name and then the salary needs to be calculated on certain conditions right so case when max salary is less than 1000 then you don't need to deduct any taxes right because zero percent tax when max salary of any employee in the company is less than thousand so you just return the salary at as it is right so then return the salary when 
मैक्स सैलरी बिटवीन वन थाउजेंड एंड टेन थाउजेंड रिमेंबर बिटवीन टेक्स और बोथ द नंबर दैट यू राइट हेयर राइट सो इट इंक्लूड्स बोथ दिस नंबर एंड इफ हेयर इफ यू सी इट सेज इंक्लूसिव राइट सो यू नीड टू इंक्लूड दीज नंबर एज वेल सो इट टेक्स केयर ऑफ दिस सो वेन मैक्सिम सैलरी इज बिटवीन थाउजेंड एंड टेन थाउजेंड देन यू डिडक्ट ट्वेंटी फोर परसेंट फ्रॉम द सैलरी सो वेन यू डिडक्ट ट्वेंटी फोर परसेंट फ्रॉम द सैलरी यू आर ओनली लेफ्ट विथ सेवेंटी सिक्स परसेंट ऑफ द सैलरी राइट सो यू रिटर्न जीरो पॉइंट सेवन सिक्स टाइम्स द सैलरी वैल्यू एंड इफ द थर्ड केस सो वी डोंट नीड टू राइट यू नो वेन मैक्स सैलरी ग्रेटर दैन टेन थाउजेंड बिकॉज इफ इट इज नॉट लेस दैन थाउजेंड इफ इट नॉज बिटवीन थाउजेंड एंड टेन थाउजेंड दैन ऑब्वियसली इट इज गोइंग टू बी ग्रेटर दैन टेन थाउजेंड राइट सो एल्स यू डिडक्ट पॉइंट फोर नाइन परसेंट और फोर्टी नाइन परसेंट फ्रॉम द सैलरी एंड यू रिटर्न जीरो पॉइंट फाइव वन टाइम्स द सैलरी एंड यू एंड द केस स्टेटमेंट्स एंड you need to return it as since the output column is also named salary so you alias it as salary only one thing remaining to do here we need to round this to the nearest integer so round the entire case statement so case when then and end so these are the four things that are required in a case statement right so the moment end appears then case statements are over right so end so this case statement end and then you write if you write zero so it basically means zero places after decimal so round to the nearest integer right you can also you uh, use other uh, functions like you know ceiling and all those things let me know if you uh, like which other function apart from round you can use uh, and then you just close this parenthesis and yeah let's let me go ahead and i think this should work okay so this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes passes all the test cases so yeah it does pass all the test cases and this is how we solve this problem again seems medium difficulty but not as such like all you need to do is you know take care some of the things add a fifth column called maximum salary then based on maximum salary which satisfies this condition deduct the tax amount and return the remaining salary right and we need to round it off and the case statements and like gets over at the end clause right so that's why we only kept round uh, like we only included the case when then and end in the round clause not the entire thing right so yeah this is how we solve this question uh, let me know guys if this video was useful and until then i will see you guys in the next video